Dr. Tan, there are certain members of the vitamin E family that are called tocotrienols. Did I get that right? right? That you got it right. <laughs> Could you explain exactly what tocotrienols are? Tocotrienols are part of the vitamin E family, and the more popular one is known as tocopherol, and this is the less known cousins. The difference between a tocopherol, which you can find on a cereal box, compared to tocotrienols are, are two things. Mm -hmm. they, the, the, the structure of a vitamin E look like a, look like a picture of a sperm. It has a head and a tail. A tocopherol will have a bigger head mm -hmm. and a longer tail. A tocotrienol would have a smaller head and a shorter tail. That's the molecular That difference. is the molecular difference okay. between the two. And, 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 the, and the significance and the meaning of this difference is that the head is the part that all of us know makes it a powerful antioxidant. So it's an antioxidant just yeah. like the tocopherol is? Yeah, both of them are antioxidant. Okay. And then the difference lie in the nuances of the size of the head and the shortness of the tail in that of the tocotrienol. In the tocopherol, uh, the antioxidant protection while in the head, because the head is smaller, is not able uh, to move about and be more uh, viable when they land on the biomembranes of the cell. Mm -hmm. So when people know that it's a powerful antioxidant, the reason it's a powerful antioxidant, it protects the membrane of the cell where there are okay. lipids and fat. And in every human body, there are 75 a trillion cells. It's a lot of cells, yes. you know. And then the tail, like an anchor in the boat, sticks into the bowel membrane and holds the head, which is antioxidant, in place. So m people don't spend enough time to explain how is an antioxidant. Now, in that of a tocotrienol, the tail is shorter. Okay. So therefore, it doesn't sink into the bowel membrane as deep. So it is much more mobile. So oh. I describe to people this way that a tocopherol is like a local policeman. It oh. captured the bad guys in a particular township. But a tocotrienol is like a state trooper. It's able to cross the entire boundary for the whole state, so it covers a much larger surface age area to capture the bad guys. And how recently was this discovered? This because was vitamin E has been you know, around for a long that time. That is right. Mm -hmm. but, uh, vitamin E, as in alpha tocopherol, was discovered at UC Berkeley in 1922. And tocotrienol was actually accidentally discovered some 30 years after in the 50s. All right. And uh, when they first discovered this in those early days, they looked like dots on a little piece of paper almost like shadows mm -hmm. of the tocopherol. And mm -hmm. then and in the tocopherol, we have a four tocopherols with four Greek words, alpha, beta, okay. delta, and gamma. And the same with tocotrienol. But before the discovery, they'll have these four dots, alpha, beta, delta, gamma, tocopherol, and then they have a shadow dots behind it. And they thought that they did something wrong, like you develop a mm -hmm. film. And then later they found out that these shadows were not tocopherol, that they did anything wrong. Uh, that was in, in about nine, middle of 1950s. And uh, then they found out that they were in fact tocotrienol and structurally very similar, mm -hmm. but not tocopherols. So these tocos, we can call them, mm -hmm. they are more powerful as an antioxidant right. than, the, than the original tocopherols. Yes, and this too were, uh, came out from UC Berkeley mm -hmm. from the famous antioxidant professor, Lester Packer. Okay. And he found out that because he's able to travel, first he showed that the tocotrienol was about 50 times more potent anti antioxidant. 50 They're times? 50 times. These now, little shadows. This is shadows. That okay. was 50 times. And obviously when it's 50 times, usually you think of something better, mm -hmm. like 50% better. So when it's 50 times better, there's got to be an underlining reason. Otherwise, it would seem not plausible or believable. And he found out that the reason it was 50 times more potent as an antioxidant is because it doesn't stay in the same spot or mm -hmm. move about slowly like the tocopherols would. It moves much more rapidly ah. through the entire membranes of the molecule. Think, think of a cell like a lemur bean. See, it's got three-dimensional mm -hmm. shape. So the, the lipid membrane is all around the whole cell. It's not a flat and it's not a line but it's actually three-dimensional. So if a, a molecule is able to spin all around to protect it as an antioxidant, then it will be more powerful, as it would be something that stays in the same spot. Now this said, 
This is not a place to say that alpha tocopherol is not good. Okay. It just has a longer tail and okay. less potent as an antioxidant. Less potent, yeah. but still good. Still good, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Tan.